You know that. Seven minus six. One. Yeah, ten. He can even answer them upside yeah. down. What's this one? What's this one? So this book is my all-time favorite book in the world. Good morning, it's Friday and I did not film yesterday or Wednesday. Wednesday was a work day and then yesterday all of the second grade teachers had a sub for a data dig day, like a testing day. And so we spent all day yesterday in another classroom on our hallway and we just pulled kids all day long to do testing. So it was super convenient and a great use of our time. We have never done that in the past and we're always stressed and pushed for time to the last day. And so it was nice to just have that day yesterday to get a lot done. So I am back today and I am excited because it is Friday. Um, I moved my desks again. I have been moving my desk like once a week lately because my kids are so chatty and they just, I've got so many that will talk to whoever is sitting next to them that it's hard to separate them so that they don't talk. I wanted to give you guys an update on our praying mantises. We still don't have any. There is the egg case. I think the pamphlet said six weeks or so and I think it's been maybe maybe six weeks seven weeks I'm not sure so I guess we will just keep waiting it is May 18th today and our last day of school is June 13th so I'm crossing my fingers that they will come out before we go home for summer break and if not then I guess I'll get to experience the hatching all by myself which won't be as fun but yeah, we have the high school graduates from the high school in our district coming to our school this morning at 9.30 to walk the halls in their cap and gowns and all of the students at our school will be lining the hallways to kind of cheer them on and give them some encouragement as well as them, you know, being here for our kids to see that someday that will be them and they will be graduating so that's exciting I've got about five minutes till my kids come and I have some papers I need to put in their mailboxes that I graded last night so that they can check the ones they missed and then some of them haven't even finished so I'm gonna do that and I will see you guys during my planning today because I don't think we're meeting maybe I don't know I don't think we are if not, I'll see you then. That's good. You know that. Seven minus six. One. I thought it was seven minus nine. Mississippi. There's five. Two. Nine. There's seven. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are subtraction, looks like. Seventeen. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. One. Mm -hmm. Mississippi. There's three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. Three. Eight. Eleven. Twelve. Eleven. Seventeen. Carson's good, isn't he? I did that one. I did that one. Well, I dropped one down. Sixteen. Fifteen. 
Twelve. Sixteen. Ten. He can even answer them upside yeah. down. What's this one? What's this one? Oh, okay. So I just got back to the room from playtime. My kids actually have extra PE this afternoon, which is wonderful on a Friday afternoon because it gives me like 30 minutes to do whatever I need to do. And I need to get some things ready for next week. My plans are done for the most part. I do need to make some copies, however. And I'm gonna straighten up a little bit and I have a stack of papers to grade. And it's not getting any smaller because I haven't graded much this week. So I might try to get a couple of those sets finished. But yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a hectic day. Um, of course, it's Friday and Fridays are usually very hectic days. I don't know if I have ever told you guys this before, but this book, if you've never read it, it's The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane by Kate DiCamillo. She is the same author as Because of Winn-Dixie. But I'm not sure when this book came out. Let's see. 2006. So this book is my all-time favorite book in the world. I absolutely love this book. I read it to my class every year. I would say it's probably appropriate for second grade and up. There are a lot of words in here that are challenging and that my students, you know, they don't know what the word means. So as I read, I kind of tell them what the word means or use it in a different way. For example, let me see. Okay, so like this sentence. He saw the amused and condescending looks of Abilene's parents. So amused, maybe, condescending, not so much. So I just explain, you know, as I go. But this book is wonderful, y'all. I love it. Like I said, I read it to my class every single year. Um, I'm gonna read you the summary on the inside front cover just so you can kind of have an idea of what it's about. So it says, once in a house on Egypt Street, there lived a China rabbit named Edward Tulane. The rabbit was very pleased with himself and for good reason. He was owned by a girl named Abilene who treated him with the utmost care and adored him completely. Then one day he was lost. Kate DiCamillo takes us on an extraordinary journey from the depths of the ocean to the net of a fisherman from the top of a garbage heap to the fireside of a hobo's camp, from the bedside of an ailing child to the streets of Memphis, and along the way we are shown a true miracle that even a heart of the most breakable kind can learn to love, to lose, and to love again. So basically it's the journey of a china rabbit and I just love it. So if you haven't ever read this book, please go check it out. Read it, it's got wonderful pictures in here. There's a picture at the beginning of each chapter. Kind of foreshadows a little bit. And then it has a few like painting pictures. So there's a picture of them sitting at a campfire. This is a great picture. It says he sank and sank and sank. So if you've ever read this book, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. And I hope that you'll read it and check it out. And if you do, let me know what you think about it. I'm excited to see what other people think about it. I love it so much. I actually got my mom to read it and she loved it. Um, so yeah, anyways, all of that to say, I started a novel study today on this book. And I created this well, I didn't create it. Let me take that back. I got it from Teachers Pay Teachers, the ideas from Teachers Pay Teachers. But I did create the books for my students. And they all have a cover. It says Edward Tulane Novel Study Author Kate DiCamillo. They write their name there in color. And then on the inside today, we did setting 
and ch a chapter summary of one through three. So I told them that they could choose anywhere in the house that the story takes place because the setting starts at Abilene's house. And then we did a summary. And then we are going to use this to do a story timeline. And it has a couple of chapters on each piece. So I'll just have them, you know, draw their favorite part from chapters one through three. And then in the beginning, I thought now after reading, I know I can make predictions while I read and they'll write those there. And then this page has some words and we'll talk about definition, synonyms, sentence and illustration as we go along. And then there's a little pocket right here. And in the pocket, it has character analysis, like character diagrams. I can analyze a character's thoughts and actions. And then in the middle bubble there, it has lots of the characters in the story. So Edward, Abilene, Pellegrina, which is Abilene's grandmother, the fisherman, and then a bunch. So they do actions, words, feelings, and appearances. And that just goes down in the pocket here like this. And then on the back, there's a book review. And so they get to review the book. They can give it up to five stars. I didn't like this book all the way up to, I love this story and we'll read it again. I gave this book blank stars. I gave this review because. So we're gonna work on this during our content time next week, as well as we have to go an extra 20 minutes every day last week because we were out on Wednesday for the North Carolina Teacher Rally in Raleigh. And so to make up that time, our county is making us go 20 minutes extra every day next week. So during that time, I'll be doing this book. But I'm gonna stop talking because I'm wasting all of my time and get off of here and get some things done before my kids get back. So I will see you guys at the end of the day. I think I'm finally ready to get out of here and I am not doing too bad. It's Friday afternoon and it is 4.10. My counter's cleaned off as you can see. Everything's nice and neat. My lunch choice and breakfast choice is out. My table's cleared off except for that poster that I'm using on Monday. And my room looks pretty clean. So I'm getting ready to head out. I've got my bags over here, my backpack. I've got those papers. Um, this is all I have to grade right there. And then my other bag and my backpack. Look at this stack of papers. Look at this. I literally just graded all of this. Just, well, I didn't grade these. These are just weather journals, but all of this, I literally just graded. But it's done. And when my assistant comes in on Monday morning, she is gonna be like, oh my gosh, because <laughs> she does all my filing in the mornings. My plans are done, my papers are graded. I only have to take home that little bit I just showed you guys. And so I'm getting ready to head out. So thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know that you liked it. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me in the future. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.